This is secret shit that no one else will tell you, but I will take strength in a bottle. Fuck, I believe I'm self-made, yeah. Good morning, YouTube! <coughs> Long story short is right after that deadlift day that I did last Thursday, you guys know that I was telling you I was fighting off this head cold. Well, this head cold got five times worse and I have not trained since Thursday. So I had to take three days off the gym. I've been in bed every day. I have goosebumps. I cannot stop coughing. I've been mega dosing all the vitamins. Taking the BPC, the TV 500, I upped the IUs of the growth hormone to try to like get through this. It turns out that I was wrong about so much that we are actually two weeks out of the meet right now, not three, which kind of just blew my mind. And then we are also competing in Quebec City because when I registered for this meet, it said Quebec and I'm like, oh, Montreal, it's only an hour and a half away. Turns out it's five hours away. Fuck! I had no intentions of driving that far, but regardless, is your boy's fucking competing. Unless I'm in a fucking body bag or I'm in a fucking wheelchair, your boy is fucking doing this thing. I think the days off actually really helped my knee. And with that said, I truly believe, truly, truly in the bottom of my heart, that there is two types of things that you can do. Now, if you feel like me and your body is super sore, you're coughing, and you just feel like shit, but your nose isn't that stuff, you're like, like I can breathe through my nose, I feel fine. You cannot work out, you cannot train, you are going to weaken your immune system. But as I continuously get better, tonight, I'm gonna aim to do about an hour of cardio and maybe like 30 minutes in the sauna. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to get into a light workout again, and then I'm gonna try to bench press, and we need to basically make up the days that we lost but the days that we lost were only bench press because my knee is still fucked up and I don't think I'm gonna do my last squat. Even though I didn't really prep for this meet, it was more just like trying to learn how to train and not get hurt again. Back injury, that's kind of what's been going on the last two days. I got all the orders done, I got all the posts done, and other than that, I've been laying in bed and sleeping and just knocking myself out with NyQuil, so. To be honest, I'm gonna do a lot of that today, and uh, I will see you guys when I start to feel a little bit more life in my body. Hey guys, so basically, I got home, and all I've eaten today is like ramen and chicken noodle soup. Um, I've had like no protein. I think that's why my weight is 225. It's crazy, like how fast you lose weight going sick. So I stopped at the grocery store, and I just got some of this orange chicken rice and pork so i'm gonna eat some of that right now i'm just gonna relax take some more nyquil watch a movie and try to get to bed obviously i spent all day today sleeping but sometimes you just need to have those days so you can continue to move forward i could have tried to go to the gym today i could have tried to push it i could have tried to do everything but if that's gonna just prolong me being sick for the next week what's the point i took yesterday i took today I'm gonna ease back into it tomorrow so that we can be 100% for I guess the official two week out starting day. Because a week out, you don't really train. You take five days off before the powerlifting competition. So this upcoming week is my make or break week on having like a good prep and a good mentality of getting into this competition. So just gonna eat some food, keep drinking as much water as possible. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So as you can tell, I'm not 100% yet. Cranking back more peptides. You know where to get them. And um, I'm just do these, do these ones in my tummy. I don't know if today can be a full force training day or what the deal is. Yeah, I know, Mage. Like I'll get it. Don't worry. 
I don't know if today can be a full force training day or what the deal is. I'm gonna have to like get up and actually like get moving and see like I don't feel bad but my face and my like head literally feels like it's decapitated. Like my throat's fucked, my nose is fucked, my head is pounding, and my sciatic nerve pain is worse than it's ever been because every time I cough, it just shoots that disc out every fucking time. My weight this morning was 223. Yeah, I've literally lost nine pounds from being sick. So my parlay cashed last night. We had... <coughs> Is what I mean, guys. Like, if God gives its toughest battles to its strongest soldiers, and you guys wonder, why do I get hundred thousand dollar lawsuits? Why do I get a non curable injury? Why do I get non curable diseases? Why do I get fucking everything that happens to me is because it knows that it. Because <coughs> it. <coughs> can't even fucking shoot this video. Is because he knows that I'm gonna keep going. So, anyways, back to the positivity. Our parlay cap. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that right there. Probably not. But we had a three leg parlay with Alex Pinerna, who fucking knocked that guy out fucking round one. We had Sterling, and then we had Jury. Jury was the iffy one, he was plus 100. And but he was a champ three months ago. There was no reason that he wasn't gonna beat. I don't know how he was not the favorite of that fight. But anyways, we didn't have much money because you'll only gamble with what you can lose. When I was betting thousands of dollars and showing you guys, I was in a much better financial position. So we only bet $20 to win back 120. We bet another 30 bucks on Alex Pereira to win back 50. So. We got the sports betting account back up to $180 so we can fire on NBA because finals is coming up soon and it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to take all my profits from yesterday and we are going to Rock and Johnny's restaurant because even though me getting my weight down is really good, I still have a week of training and I don't want that week of training to suffer because I've just lost 12 pounds. So I'm gonna kind of balance out and try to sit around 225, 226, increase the calories for the next few days so I can try to like give this cold what it needs to 100% get over it. Because as I train this week, it's gonna dampen my immune system. So I need to do things that are gonna bring my immune system up so that I just don't keep, get, keep fighting the sickness. <coughs> All right guys, so we just got back from breakfast. Made <coughs> <coughs> it's been a it's been a great day as you can tell day five of the plague but we just got back from cut we just got back from Costco I needed where are the eggs oh I must have forgot them in the car anyways uh, I got 30 more eggs because we are starting the weight cut probably at the end of this week and we just eat protein I'll do a little weight cut video I'm not doing one of those 20 pound weight cuts that I've did in the past but I have done a 27 pound weight cut in four days to make 198, which I could do now, but it's just not worth it for such a small meat. And I wanna make sure that my back holds up at 100%. Kinda of eating the pre-workout meal now while doing some client work. Just got chicken noodle soup, man. I'm just trying to get stuff that, that feels good on my throat. I feel like fucking shit, guys. Like, the chicken noodle soup's helping, the Dayquil helps, everything helps, but I don't know how heavy I'm gonna be able to bench today. I told you guys, like I'm competing or I'm in a coffin. Those are the only two options. So let's finish this strong. So we decided to do an explosive bench day. Now powerlifting is cool because you can train your central nervous system to be explosive, which is what we did here. So we started with 225, then we went to 315 with 60 pounds of chains. Then we went to 365 with 60 pounds of chains. Then we did 405 with 60 pounds of chains. And all you can see here is I'm trying to be explosive as I possibly can. Then we went back down to 365 with some chains because I wanted to do three sets of three, but I just wanted the 405 to really get used to it. Oh, it looks like I added a, a last set in here. And I think I actually did five reps here just to say that I could. Yeah, uh, yeah. But none of them slowed down, so I was really happy with this bench day, especially with after being sick.
Now, as you guys know, the weakest part of my bench press is the lockout. So we have this little pad that is basically like a board press. And I did 315 close grip. I did this for three sets of as many reps as I felt good. I didn't want to go to absolute failure because obviously we're going to have our last heavy bench day this week. But I wanted to do enough volume that I definitely like felt it. I After this, we just did a little bit of tricep pushdowns. There's no need to go full out on chest two weeks out. And then uh, we went home and recover, recover, recover. It's late. It's already 10 p.m. Um, I'm going to have something really good tasting because I know this week is going to be on point for dieting. Not like crazy. Like I said, I like to do low, low carb and calories on the days that are not important. And then the night before, like a big lift and the morning of the big lift, I like to eat a little bit more to fuel myself. Obviously, purely eating for performance right now. I feel not 100%, but like 72.5% right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's not bad. What I'm going to do before we cook this meal though is, um, well, it's a meal. It's, it's a, it's a junk food snack, but, um, it's going to taste amazing. It's going to be high protein. It's going to be high carb and it's going to be high fat. We are going to shoot. No, I'll shoot the BPC before bed. Um, I like to do that two to three times a day. We're going to shower up acne attack skincare been breaking out a little bit. I think that's because I changed the cycle. Then I changed the dosages and then it was just crazy. One more secret for strength that's absolutely insane is this shit. I'm gonna go over it with like the meal that we make. But other than the LGD, like the LGD brings you to like another level. This shit is like with LGD, it's the perfect like off of Tren and Halo. Cause if you can't take like Tren and Halo, cause you just get too actually like psychotic. Tren and Halo 100, this like 88.7% for real. Promise, a pinky promise. And I never lie on this channel. So yeah, let's shower up. And then uh, we're gonna do the full review of that product tomorrow so I can set up like a real tripod. But quickly, before we go to bed, is um, I cut an entire chicken breast onto this nachos. And then the way that I do my nachos is I put the nachos down, then I put some cheese down, then I put some chicken on it, then I put more cheese down, then I layer another thing of nacho chips, and then I cut the rest of the chicken breast, and then more cheese, and you have 180 grams of chicken with two layers of nachos and cheese. That's probably like fucking more calories than I'm gonna consume in like two weeks, but it's gonna be good. So when I wake up tomorrow, first thing I'm doing, showering, and I'll see you in the office, because you do not wanna miss this. So as promised, guys, strength in a bottle. This is one of the biggest strength drugs that I've taken over my powerlifting career that nobody talks about. Nobody. You might hear it here and there, but this is a forgotten drug, and it's called testosterone suspension. And basically, what it means is it has no ester. It is straight to your muscles fucking immediately, and it makes you feel like a god. Now, you're going to say, oh, no, it doesn't. So here's my experience. Now, I am not a doctor. I'm not your doctor, and I don't have some crazy PhD in steroidology. But this is what I've experienced from my usage of this drug. Now you cannot deny that steroids makes you feel like the man. It gives you more energy. It gives you more of that oomph. When you're off cycle, you know, you walk around with your chest bone down. You want quiet like a little baby girl. And then when you're on cycle, you're like, you stand up straight. You feel good. Imagine that feeling almost instantly from an injection of testosterone suspension. How would that change your mindset going into those lifts when you're already on testosterone? The only thing that is a little bit worrisome with this is it has no ester. So if you want to take this properly, what I do is about three weeks out from the meet, I start taking this two or three times a day. That's something that you have to decide. The issue is it's an intramuscular injection that you are doing 
two times every single day, seven days a week for three weeks straight. It's it's not ideal. Now, there is a lot of guys that have done this drug and do it two or three times a week. The issue with that is your fucking hormone levels are going up and down, up and down. And if you are just doing it for like, I want to be fucking absurd for a squat day, then for sure, take 100 milligrams of this shit an hour before you squat, and I guarantee you, you'll squat or bench or deadlift like you've never fucking lifted before. But then you're going to have that hormone crash, and if you are prone to acne or if you are prone to a ton of hormonal side effects, this is not going to be the drug for you because even right now, I do miss a lot of injections with this. I'm like really on the ball. Like tomorrow, I'm going to be deadlifting. So I'm like, yo, tonight, test suspension. Tomorrow morning, test suspension. And uh, then I kind of like forget about it when I don't have any of the main lifts. And I, I need to be more on that. But that's probably why my back is breaking out a little bit more. Right here is one of your massive hormonal acne spots for your face. If you didn't know that, where you break out on your body gives you an indication on what is going wrong. This is no joke. The biggest side effects from this is obviously the injection frequency. It's, it's absurd, but with me saying I do it the last three weeks, you could do it the last week before your meet and you will still get fucking ridiculous results. Doing this an hour before each lift, which I will be doing at the competition, is insane. Now the way that I work the competition and like this is a this is secret shit that no one else will tell you, but I will take I will take 100 milligrams of test suspension and two LGD tabs before my squat and I'll squat like a fucking animal. And then I will take another 100 milligrams of test suspension, two pills of LGD before my bench and you guys guessed it do the same thing before my deadlifts. And that is also why this drug is so fucking dangerous because the milligram per cc and the injection frequency means that you can take copious amounts of 100% testosterone in the matter of a day. Think of like if you take testosterone anente, it's a seven day half-life. Some of that gets lost because of the ester. This is 100 milligrams that's going to hit you right away. So just on Saturday, with three injections, I'm doing 300 milligrams of pure testosterone. And that's why it helps you so fast with the strength. Now, I don't think I'd ever take this for size because I think it's just too much. And you just, you just need to inject it too frequently. But for these quick strength gains that I'm looking to get... This has always been one of my go-tos. No one ever talks about it. It's crazy. This and LGD is like the rival of Tren and Halo. But this, you don't get all the fucking paranoia, the toxicity that Tren has. Like, it's absurd. I saw Phil Heath talking about it the other day. He's like, why are all these kids taking Tren? Like, do you guys see that it's rustic yellow or orange? And you guys are like, yo, <laughs> look. Pop. Like you, that's crazy. Like, and I was one of those kids, and now I've kind of strayed away from that because I just don't like the way it makes me feel. And like, it's too reliant on what's going on in your life. And if you live a chaotic life, trend is not for you. I guarantee it. And unless you're competing at a high level, trend is not for you. There's like a 0.01% of people on the planet that should be taking it. And they probably don't even take it. And it's the other 99% that shouldn't be taking it that takes it. But I just wanted to give away all the secrets because fuck it, man. I don't know what's happening with the internet. Everything could be shut down. The solar storm could hit. And I want you guys making as many gains as possible. So even though I can't recommend you try this, that's my experience from it. And um, it's fast. So... Don't be shocked when you like walk into the gym 30 minutes after taking this and hit a PR that you've never hit in your entire life because that's quite literally the way that it was designed to work and the way that it works. It's just not popular because it does have a lot of side effects. So that said...
going to wrap up this video. As you can tell, I'm feeling much better today. Um, that's why we're going to deadlift tomorrow. My torn ACL is feeling a little bit better. I was supposed to squat tomorrow, but because of the ACL injury, we're going to move squats to the end of the week so I can get a little bit more healing time on that. And then we're going to bench. My last heavy bench day is going to be like Thursday or Friday. So I'm hyped. We are officially two weeks out. We are going to crush this shit. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.